50 years ago, a company invented something called Kleenex tissue. Jean Harlow promoted it. It wasn't designed for sneezes. She said it was to be used to remove makeup and other dangerous dirt. It sold fairly well. They also promoted it as something to keep China from chipping. And they claimed your husband would be happy if you used it as a coffee filter. It wasn't until six years after the product was introduced that they discovered most people were using it not to clean refrigerators or remove makeup, but to blow their noses. So quickly they changed the ads to brag about that, and sales doubled. Then came television. Soft, strong, pops up too. Kleenex tissues are made for you. When you're caught with a sudden sneeze, Kleenex serves with speed and ease. Soon other brands were competing and promoting new things we were supposed to worry about, like wet strength. Make this easy tap test. See how the tissue falls apart when the water touches it? Then hold a new Scotty under the tap. You'll notice it actually stays whole. This is the wet strength that enables them to stay strong in use. I suppose they have a point. When you sneeze, you don't want it to go through to your hand. So that's what you want in a tissue. Something strong enough, yet soft enough, that you don't rip the skin off your nose. Baby, we're gonna baby you. These days, they mostly run cute ads plugging the soft part. Baby, you. Soft and thicker Kleenex tissue. It's the new way. Kleenex has bless you. It's not easy to make a paper product both soft and strong. If you want strength, you use longer wood fibers and weave them into a tight mesh, but the tight mesh makes the paper less soft. So do some companies manage the combination better than others? Well, Consumer Reports ran tests. They bought 34 brands, put them in unmarked envelopes, and the test for softness simply had people touch them and rub them on their cheeks. Careful notes were taken. Then came the Consumer Reports Strength When Wet test. They put each tissue in an embroidery hoop, dampen it with a wet sponge, and then pour in lead shot until... Then, for comparison purposes, they weigh the shot. The stronger tissues held more than 10 ounces before they broke. Finally, how do you test how well a tissue can harness a sneeze? Can't get a bunch of people to keep sneezing with equal force, so, Consumer Reports solution, a sneeze machine. This grown man actually is paid to build things like this. The demonstration, hand on the trigger, tissue in place, he lets the pendulum swing and... Some tissues hold it, some don't. So which ones came out best overall? Puffs Plus. This product is different. Feels like there's something on the tissue. Feels almost like a lotion. Lotion, oh my gosh. It's the first tissue with moisturizing lotion. Puffs Plus. The only problem is that some people find the lotion greasy. If you use these to clean your glasses, they gunk them up. And a penny of tissue, Puffs Plus is more expensive. For half that price, you can buy the tissue that ranked second, Scott's Helping Hand. And as a bonus, every time you buy, they give a little money to charity. Finally, what about bestseller Kleenex? Well, most of its brands did well, but not the best. That was this one. So much for tissues. Tomorrow, facial cleansing creams. The tests show some are better than others. And Friday, we'll put vacuums to the test. Good Morning America continues in just a moment. What's new with Oprah Winfrey? We'll find out after this.